Let's do a review of today's trades. Uh, hello, this is Emmy from mytradeaims.net. If I am going to post this on YouTube, then I need to say this. Right, so uh, as you probably know that I trade the DAX 30 on the five minute or the one minute chart daily, every day at the London Open. So before we open, um, I posted this picture in the uh, Discord channel. Let me show you that. So um, oh, let's go back to the top here. So around here, so um, just to update you, um, we have this Discord channel. Uh, you have premium members. There is place for, for free as well. If you join us for free, you will get access to that and that. Premium members get access to this. But if you want access to this section, uh, you know, live trades and stuff, then you need to have a subscription or the platinum membership, which is going at 75% right now. So go to whitetradeaims.net to get that if you would like to join with 70%, 75% off. Right, so I posted this picture. What you see here is the range, the pre-market range and the overnight range. Uh, so these are the lows of yesterday and that this is where the market was. So what I wanted to show with this picture was that we want to wait for the market to actually break this range. Uh, so we will see what happens when it does this and then we'll see if it comes back and hits that level and start coming down or is it going to go up and basically by the time i posted this before london open it actually broke below that so let's go to the next picture oh okay so this is the pound yen i wasn't meant to actually show it in this presentation but that is um, a strategy that we follow on the hourly chart we have taken that trade and look how beautiful we have timed it towards the lows and it's going up we've taken half the profit it's at 10 hour profit now more than 200 pips the original the original stop loss was around 20 pips so we are 10 hour up but my target is those levels there so probably about 400 pips so we'll see when we get there right so what happened next was um yes it started coming down i made my entry here here and here this means that my average entry was right over here uh, at 64 and then price went up and was going very strongly up i think this is the m5 chart so i got out and then i saw it as a trend reversal i thought maybe uh, so this is probably where the london open is and i thought this is going to go all the way up and test those levels so this is exactly what it did um, but a little bit later so i have skipped a few of the um, things in between but this is how it was so this is the london open this is a modified aims uh, channel it's based on 2atr uh, so price went down first below the london open but then closed above so at this point i assume that and I hope today you are able to see my cursor and stuff. I think um, by mistake, I wasn't recording the cursor yesterday. Um, what I'm doing now is that I want to record quick reviews instead of going to, you know, uh, video recording software, then editing and all that stuff. I'm just recording it on Snagit. I'm not going to edit it, edit it, and I'm just going to upload it straight away. So uh, this is what it is. So then price went up came down again and then started going up so when it touched this upper band here i thought okay if it comes down i'm going to take some trades here on the pullback so i managed to get a trade here and then when it went further down i, I put another one over no 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 sorry so i got in here just in case it was supposed to go up so then i when it started coming down and it touched this line i actually went long here as well but price went down on me so i got out and then obviously it went up so it beat me to it uh i was able to get back in somewhere here was i or not uh i'm forgetting now so uh, the next pictures will clarify anyway so then here i realized that uh, basically we were still in a range right we thought we were still in a range so what i did is that i used my um, method and there's a blog post that i've um, I've talked about how to sell the highs and buy the lows in range bound market and 
how to identify ranges is very important as well. So we have identified the range and I thought this is a range now. So now that price has come to the extreme of the range one. And the second thing that it's gone extreme of ATR volatility as well. It's out of the band. So I went short here with stop loss just up there. So it was like six or seven stop loss. And then I took 10 profit on this. Of course, it didn't stop there. It went further down. And then I thought, okay, now it's at the range low, which ideally I was just fooling myself because the range low really is this. Uh, but I thought, okay, I'll just go long there. I was patient enough. I held on to it up to here, but it went up and then started going down again. And if I, if you look at it, this is one, two, three uh, candle pullback. So I closed my uh, long and I went short on this to take advantage of these shorts. So what happened next? Let's go to the next one. Um, yes. And then what I did was that I did a beautiful thing. <laughs> uh, I started working on uh, creating this when I was creating this slide, which was a really bad mistake. It's uh, thanks to my ADHD. I cannot uh, really focus on things sometimes. So I was creating this for the discord channel and this was a mistake. I should have been actually, you know, focused on my trades and my idea was to actually take profits here. Uh, but then I let it and then it came back and I gave back all my profits. So this would have been a good trade. Uh, it, it was a good trade. I just didn't take profits here. I should have taken the profits there. Okay, so after that, uh, I got out. Uh, slightly break even on those. And then we have a one, two, three. Beautiful candle pullback. Um, but I complicated things a bit. I complicated things a bit for me and anyway I, I went short here and my target was very close and before we do that um, anyway I'll just put it this way so I took this trade and then you know while this was happening I was talking in the discord channel uh, which is you know we have this trading talk thing where only one person can talk and the rest of them listen. So a few people were sitting there listening. And I was going through the idea of range, bound, blah, 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 and all that. And then towards the end, I thought, I'm going to ask these questions. So, you know, later on, when the trade happened, you know, uh, when I kind of decided, okay, I'm not trading anymore. Two questions come to mind. I look at this chart now, and I ask myself, how hard was it how hard was it to simply take these signals? And I mean the Hunt Cherry signals. So this is a long signal, nice lovely 2R. This is a sell signal, a nice lovely 2R. This is another sell signal. There's one in there. So, I mean, how hard was it to actually have taken that trade? I did actually take that trade, uh, but I messed it up uh, because um, when it started going up, yes, I took the trade and because I had so many complex things going on in my head, I did not believe in this and I thought, okay, it's range bound. I think it's wrong to actually sell here. I got out here and then the market fell down. Um, and <laughs> over here, I decided to leave the chart. So today I was not really in zone. I So I was down around 1% around that area because of these few rents and not taking profits. Uh, missed this bit because I wasn't here, but then I found out that it was, you know, all the bells and whistles was going on. So I thought I came back, took a trade right here and took a quick scalp. Then I waited for this and this was going, this was setting up. Um, this was setting up into a setup one. So anyway, so the next question was, why did I complicate the matter so much by looking at all those levels and talking about all the stuff, right? And the answer really is that you need to find your way of, you know, trading, especially when you're day trading. So, uh, yeah, in hindsight, it's very easy to say, oh, I could have taken this signal and that signal and that signal. Uh, but in real time, it's a little bit difficult. So you have to create a process and then see how that process works for you. If the process works for you, you are profitable, then just keep going on with that process. So. This is something that works for me. Sometimes I complicate things a bit. 
Um, all I had to do here was take these pullbacks, but I was talking about the range and blah, 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 and all that. And I messed things up. But the simplest way of trading this is, let's go to the first slide. And when I identify a range, I just want the breakout of that. Once it breaks out, then I can trade pullbacks. And, and this is important. I remind myself and I tell you if you are a new trader. And if you're an old, you know, experienced trader, you already know. Pullbacks are for trending markets. If you trade pullbacks inside a range, it's not going to work. It doesn't have an edge. If you want to trade inside a range, then a range has to have a good distance between its low and high. And then you can time entries here and here and here and here. Now, we won't trade this one because this is overnight. Uh, but you want a range. Uh, let's say if you want to look for like 10 point profits, you need to have a range of like 30, 40 points. I would, I would go for a wider range. And in trends, it's relatively simpler. Uh, it's easier. Anyway, after that, um, I saw setup one. Um, and I took the trades on both of my accounts. So these, oh, okay, oh before we talk about that, this, uh, this chart has those levels. So I went long here, got out, then I went short here. And this is where I should have taken my exit, but I was making pictures. So I messed it up. And then when I messed it up, I messed it up again, right? So let me explain. When price started to go up and I see this level here, and I know that I messed up my entries, I should have thought about, all right, is this market still in a downtrend or something like that? But I think my, my, my first impression was that, ah, it is a range bound market. It's bounced against it. Now it's going to go all the way up. So let me get out. A minute later, I realized my mistake. And I'm thinking, because, you know, what happens is that when you get out of a trade, you fi suddenly find objectivity. So I went short again. And then for some reason, I got out. Then again, I had this thought, oh, no, we're still in a range. What are you doing? Don't do that. Let's wait for a breakout. And the way the breakout did happen. And then that led to this scalp over here and then to this beautiful setup one. Let me show you the next slide, which is the setup one template. So this is the second account on the other account. I actually uh, took only one entry using the setup one template short here. And then uh, we got out here. So this was a small um, entry for this account. And it has a very good 1.5 R profit. So if you just wait for setup one or setup two, then this was your entry today. And this was your setup one entry. And to finish things up. OK, so the other account when I was trading, this is my day trading account. Uh, these are all my trades. This is my short. This is my fail long. This is my messed up trade. This is another messed up trade. So D is zero, D is zero, discipline score zero, right? For those. Uh, oh, I haven't put those scalps over here. So that's a little scalp here. And then, uh, so that's what, 15 points. Or, okay, so from from here, it was 15 points. So let's call it, because it's three positions, so I call it about 14 points. So this was, again, another uh, 1.2 or 1.5 R profit. It actually brought my account back to zero. I was 1% uh, down on, then on this uh, back to zero. So finishing, finishing the day break even um, could have been better, but that's how it is. So this is today's review of DAX 30, 20th of April. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit that like button and stay subscribed so you can get a notification for new videos. And don't forget, Platinum membership is going on, which would let you have all the premium membership benefits, all the access, everything. And the cherry on top is that I'll give you access to the Discord and the live trading room free of cost, lifetime, as long as that service is there. So do not miss this. Anyway, see you later.